If you're wondering how to add GA4 to WordPress, this video is gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do to get it set up. So let's get started. So first off, what is Google Analytics 4? Well, GA4 is Google's newest version of Google Analytics. Google Analytics 3, often called Universal Analytics, is gonna sunset July the 1st, 2023, so it's important to switch to GA4 as soon as you can. While GA4 has many of the same features as Universal Analytics, they've added a few extras and they've removed some others. For instance, in Universal Analytics, you have to set up event tracking like enhanced e-commerce tracking and conversion tracking by using a special code. Of course, if you're using Monster Insights, you just turn it on. While in GA4, you can just turn on some of their built-in tracking features. However, you're probably going to find it a little challenging to find and read that event data, unless you're an Analytics Pro. And like I said, GA4 is missing some key features too, like bounce rate. But the biggest thing that's missing in GA4 is your data. If you've been using Universal Analytics and you set up a GA4 property, you're not going to see any of your historical data in it. GA4 starts collecting data from scratch, and while your data is still safe in the Universal Analytics property, you're going to have to switch back and forth between the two to see it. Plus, if you've been using Google Analytics for a while, you've probably gotten used to how Universal Analytics looks. Well, GA4 looks a whole lot different. So when you set up a GA4 property, there's a learning curve. Even intermediate users are having some difficulty learning how to use it and navigate around the site. So while it's super important to set up a GA4 property and start gathering data, you might want to set up or keep using your Universal Analytics property as well. If you're using WordPress, the absolute easiest way to set up GA4 is with Monster Insights. It makes connecting your WordPress site with GA4 easy, and it provides solutions to some of the drawbacks that I mentioned just a moment ago. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress that allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, both Universal Analytics and GA4, so you can view the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, form tracking, custom dimension tracking, outbound link tracking, and more. With Monster Insights, you can use GA4 and still keep your historical data and your bounce rate metrics and your search queries report. All you have to do is use the Monster Insights dual tracking feature. So if you have a Universal Analytics property, you can connect both your GA4 and your Universal Analytics property to WordPress. That way you get the best of both versions. Monster Insights is the only tool that allows you to combine both your Google Analytics properties into one dashboard. Now we're going to talk about how to add Google Analytics 4 to your WordPress site. Now, the first thing that you'll need to do is log in or sign up for a Google account. Then open the Google Analytics website and click the Sign In to Analytics link or the Start for Free button in the top right corner of the page. Next, if you have an existing Google account, you can log in or you can create a new account by clicking the Create Account link and creating one. If you don't have a Google Analytics account yet, click the Start Measuring button in the next screen. Of course, if you already have an account, you can just skip to the next step. Next, you'll need to enter the account name for your Google Analytics account. You'll also see different data sharing settings. Just make sure that you check all the boxes and then click Next. Now you'll have to enter the property details for your website. Start by entering a name, selecting a reporting time zone, and choosing your currency. Next, you can choose to either set up a GA4 property, the recommended option, or set up both GA4 and UA at the same time. Now, to set up a GA4 property, enter your property name, then choose your time zone and currency, and then click Next. Now, fill in the rest of the business information, and then scroll down and click Create. Then, you may see a pop-up at this point to accept the Google Analytics Terms of Service, so go ahead and check the checkbox and click I accept. Your next step is creating your data stream. Since you're setting this up for a WordPress website, just click the web button. Now just fill in your website's URL and name and click the create stream. To set up both GA4 and Universal Properties at the same time, enter your property's name and choose the time zone and currency and then click the show advanced options link. Toggle on the switch to create a Universal Analytics property, then fill in your website's URL, and select the checkbox to create both properties and click Next. Now fill in your business details and click Create. You may see a pop-up at this point to accept the Analytics Terms of Service, so go ahead and check the checkbox 
I accept. All right, normally at this point, you'd have to insert your Google Analytics tracking code into your WordPress website's code, but with Monster Insights, you don't have to worry about code at all. Instead, you can get started by downloading Monster Insights. Now to do that, you'll need to log into your Monster Insights account and download the plugin zip file from the account area. Now, once you have the zip file, just go back to your WordPress site and on the admin dashboard, just go to plugins and then click add new. And then click the upload plugin button at the top of the page. On the next screen, you can click the choose file button to select the zip file that you just downloaded, or you can drag and drop it here and click the install now button to upload the file and install the plugin on your site. Now, once it's installed, you can just click the activate plugin button to activate it on your website. Now you'll see the setup wizard that'll guide you through the setup process step by step. Now at first, you'll see the welcome Monster Insights message and options to choose a category of your site. So select one of the three options that best describes your site, business website, publisher, blog, or e-commerce, and then click the save and continue button. Of course, you can choose to skip the setup wizard for now by clicking the exit setup button at the top, but we're gonna continue our setup. Now on the next screen, you're gonna enter your Monster Insights license key to connect Monster Insights to your site. You can find your license key in your email receipt or the account area on the plugin's website. Now, once you enter your license key, it'll verify your account and then just click the Connect Monster Insights button. Now you're gonna see an option to connect Google Analytics with your Monster Insights account. So just select your account. Next, you'll need to allow Monster Insights the proper permissions. After that, you'll need to pick a profile to complete the connection. If you have multiple websites connected to your Google Analytics account, then you'll need to choose the right website property here. If you have just a GA4 property, choose that. If you have just a Universal Analytics property, choose that one. If you have both, you can choose either one here. Just keep in mind that if you want to see the bounce rate, choose your Universal Analytics property in this step. Okay. Now choose your profile and then click the Complete Connection button. After that, it'll finalize the authentication process and in just a few seconds, it'll take you back to your Monster Insights setup page. Now you can see the recommended settings for the plugin. Now on this page, you're gonna see some of the most important settings like event tracking and enhanced link attribution, which are enabled by default. You're also gonna see file download tracking. It includes various file types, docs, exes, and so forth. It's also enabled by default. Affiliate link tracking. We've added two affiliate link paths to get you started, but you can add more. And with the access to Monster Insights reports option, you can choose who can see the Monster Insights reports inside the plugin. And the automatic plugin updates option allows you to enable or disable that. Now, once you've reviewed and configured these recommended settings, go ahead and click the save and continue button at the end. All right, on the next screen, you're going to see standard analytics and reports. These are the standard Monster Insights report you get in your WordPress dashboard. Enhanced link attribution that helps you to see where users are clicking on your site. There's the All-in-One SEO Toolkit, which allows All-in-One SEO to integrate with Monster Insights. And you'll see the Smart Form Builder by WP Forms, the most popular WordPress form builder plugin. Beneath that, you're going to see the Privacy Compliance add-on that helps Google Analytics be more compliant with GDPR, CCPA, and other privacy laws, and there's the advanced reports that gives you access to advanced reports inside Monster Insights, like search keywords and reports like the real-time publishers, e-commerce, and other reports. Plus, you're going to see that there's an e-commerce tracking that instantly enables enhanced e-commerce tracking, and advanced tracking provides even more advanced tracking features, such as author tracking, form conversion tracking, scroll tracking, and more. After that, you'll see the awesome you're all set screen. This means that the setup process is complete and you've successfully installed Google Analytics on your WordPress site. Now, depending on the size of your site, you can expect to see data somewhere between a few hours to 24 hours. Now, don't forget to click the Finish Setup and Exit Wizard button. Now, if you have both a Universal Analytics property and a GA4 property, you'll be able to set up dual tracking. By setting up dual tracking, you'll be able to see all of your historical data from Universal Analytics while still getting all the benefits of using GA4. So on the settings page, scroll down to Google Authentication and find the dual tracking profile box. Here you can input either your Universal Analytics tracking ID or your GA4 measurement ID, whichever one you didn't authenticate within the setup wizard.
If you're using Google Analytics 4, either as your main or your dual tracking profile, you'll need to create an API secrets for some of Monster Insights tracking features to work. To create your API secrets, you'll need to open Google Analytics and navigate to Admin. Now under the Property column, click on the Data Streams, and then open the data stream connected to Monster Insights. Next, scroll down to find your measurement protocol API secrets and click it. Now you'll need to create a new API secret and give it a nickname. Now once that's done, make sure that you copy the secret value. Now go back to your WordPress admin area and go to Insights and then Settings. Now in the Google Authentication section, you'll see the Measurement Protocol API secret field. So paste your secret value here and the settings will automatically be saved. Now you've successfully added Google Analytics 4 to WordPress. How do I use GA4 in WordPress? Well, after you install Monster Insights and connect GA4 Universal Analytics for both, you can use the Monster Insights dashboard reports to see your Google Analytics data. Should I start using GA4? Yes, we recommend at least setting up a GA4 property so that you can begin collecting data now. It won't have any of your historical data in it, so it's a great idea to get it set up and allow it to begin collecting data even if you still plan on using Universal Analytics or Monster Insights to see all your reports. Is Universal Analytics going away? Yes, Universal Analytics is going to be sunsetting July 2023, and data will no longer be collected in your Universal Analytics property. So it'll only be collected in GA4. How do I activate GA4? If you need instructions about creating a GA4 property without having a Universal Analytics property already set up, check out our guide on how to add a property in Google Analytics step-by-step. -step. I'll leave a link in the description. If you do have a Universal Analytics property and you'd like to add a GA4 property, you can just follow Google's Setup Assistant by logging into your account, then clicking the Admin cog at the bottom left of the screen, and then click the GA4 Setup Assistant in the middle column. Now click the blue Get Started button. Then click the Create Property button. The last option will either be checked or not based on which version of the tracking tag that you currently have installed. And there you have it. In just a few steps, you can add Google Analytics 4 to WordPress. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter, so see why more than 3 million websites are using us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.